Disclaimer. Stock trading is inherently risky and the users agree to assume complete and full responsibility for the outcomes of all trading decisions that they make, including but not limited to loss of capital. Matthew, chapter 25 verse 14 to 30, For it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. For today's video, we are going to talk about Darva's theory. Nicholas Darvas, an untutored trader who relied on stock price and volume targets, developed a trading system called the Darvas Box Theory. In this way, the Darvas Box Theory is comparable to technical analysis, a discipline used by security traders who seek to assess stocks by observing patterns in the data from their previous trades. By drawing a box around the highs and lows of the stock price recently, Traders may determine where to enter the market and where to place a stop-loss order, allowing them to capitalize on rising stock prices using the Darvas box trading approach. When stock prices break out of a trading range and return to levels around or at the prior high, this pattern is known as a Darvas box. Understanding Darvas box theory origin In the 1950s, Nicholas Darvas subscribed to the Wall Street Journal and Barron's and invested in stocks based on stock prices. Darvas used boxes and trading rules to transform $10,000 into $2 million. How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market, his book, popularized the Darvas box theory. Technical analysis uses Darvas box theory. Technical analysis uses support, resistance bands, and momentum boxes or other technical instruments. Darvas used his method when information was sluggish and technical charting was unattainable. Technical charting uses Darva's methods. Momentum strategy Darva's box theory. Technical analysis and market momentum theory dictate market entry and exit. Draw a line between lows and highs to form Darva's boxes. Over time, the highs and lows will rise or decline. Darva's box theory advises only trading rising boxes and updating stop loss orders at the highs of breaching boxes. Even though Darvas's box theory is mostly a trading strategy, when it was first thought up, it used some basic analysis to decide which stocks to target. Darvas thought that his method worked best when it was used in businesses that could offer investors and customers the most exciting new goods. He also liked companies that had made good money over time, especially when the market as a whole was unstable. How it works the Darvas box theory is a way to trade that looks at how stocks are moving. The momentum theory says that if the price of a stock has gone up in the past, it is more likely to go up again in the future. On the other hand, stock prices that were going down before are more likely to go down again in the future. Some people think that Darvas' early success with the box theory approach can only be explained by the fact that he traded in a highly bullish market and that the same results cannot be achieved in a bad market. When the trend doesn't go as expected, it's safe to state that sticking to the Darvas box hypothesis will result in marginal losses. Many technical techniques since Darvas employ trailing stop-loss orders and follow the trend, momentum. The Darvas box theory, like many trading theories, may be most useful for teaching traders risk management and plan execution. In his work, Darvas highlighted logging deals and examined what went good and wrong. That's all thank you for watching. I hope you learn many new things about the stock market. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Also follow us on our Facebook page to learn more about the stock market.